<laughs> I'm still filming right now. <laughs> okay. Hi guys. Um, I am back with a, another unboxing video of new shoes. Um, on this one, I'm going to show you a little trick as well to help um, glitter stay on new shoes because we fuck them up so quickly, whether they're made of glitter or not. Um, so this is my new pair. Uh, currently unopened. I actually have two new pairs so there will be another video coming next week but these ones I wanted to do first because I am wearing them for Pole Theatre UK on Saturday which I'm not fucking prepared for but at least I'll have nice shoes which is new guys. So these are uh, supplied again by Dr. Shoe Little in the UK who as you guys know, I absolutely fucking love. They are amazing. The delivery on these is super fast. Um, I get loads of shoes for all of my pole students through them as well. Um, the shoes themselves are pleasers. They are Flamingo 1020G, so eight inch gold glitter. Okay, so, exciting. At some point, please are going to give us shoes with like way less wrapping on, and it's going to be really nice. But ready? So I went for these ones because um, a couple of my students have them in. Oh my god, they're so fucking sparkly! You see it in the sunshine. So. A couple of my students have these in black. Um, I do actually normally buy black shoes and I decided recently that I was gonna stop because I have so many black shoes. And then um, about two weeks ago, my last pair of nice black shoes died. So now I have no black shoes. But these ones um, are so sparkly that you can see them across the room, which I really, really liked. The gold is in keeping with my theme, which I can't tell you because I haven't done the routine yet. And so it's got to be a surprise, it's got to be a secret. Um, but hopefully that will be up next week if it's not shit, which it might be, so it might not be. But anyway, so you can see these have got quite thick gold glitter on. Now, please do stick the glitter on pretty well. And before I explain how to keep the glitter in place, um, I will caveat this by saying that actually, I think that fucking up glitter shoes is fairly easy, like it's, it's easy to fix. So with the painted shoes, if you scratch along the front within 30 seconds of wear and um, all the paint comes off the front, then you have to literally respray the whole heel. But with glitter shoes, um, these ones in particular, as you can see, are encased in acrylic plastic. Um, this is super hard wearing. I have shattered a pair before, but that was my fault, not the shoe's fault. Um, the glitter itself, if the glitter comes off, go down to like Wilco or Hobbycraft and pick up some gold glitter and some super glue and just glue it and sprinkle the glitter back on. They, people are really, really like careful and precious about glittery shoes because they are so pretty but if you fuck them up just put some more glitter on there it's fine however I will show you what I find is a good way to keep the glitter on there for longer to save you 50p and going to get some so first thing I'm going to do because these are brand new shoes out of the box is I'm going to check them for stickers because I always tell people off if they keep stickers on I accidentally left my sticker on the last time I did this video which sucked. So, stick it on the bottom, stick it in the box. Sometimes there is an extra sticker, looks like there is not on these. So, first thing I'm gonna do is take the laces out and undo the shoe. The shoe is free, released from its lace prison. So I am gonna grab um, some tape because essentially what we're gonna be doing is that I have this, um, this is just lacquer spray. I am saying that right, aren't I? Lacquer, not like liqueur, like la lacquer spray. Um, this is from Wilco, it's just completely clear. Um, I think it's also known as acrylic spray. 
if you're a DIY nerd and it's not also known as acrylic spray, just know that acrylic spray it works as well. Um, but what I want is I want to just get the glittery bits with this. It's not the end of the world if you go into the plastic, but if you're really, really shit at spraying, then um, you can get like little rough bits on there. So what I'm gonna do is I've got tape and somewhere under the shoe pile, I have scissors. Okay, don't use sellotape, duct tape, or fragile tape, or double-sided tape, or something like that for this. Um, masking tape is by far the best. Um, I am using bondage tape because apparently I am the kind of person who doesn't own masking tape but does have bondage tape to hand. So um, the reason I'm using this, although it does look like duct tape, it is not duct tape. Bondage tape sticks only to itself um, and it sticks slightly to the shoes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the tape and I'm just going to run it around this plastic base just to keep that safe. My shoe is very poorly taped. You can put on more tape than this if you are worried about your aim. Um, you can tape up the whole thing, doesn't really matter, whatever. So this next bit, make sure that you do it in a well ventilated area or outside in the greenery where your neighbours can see you and are looking on in confusion. So got my spray and I'm going to hold the spray about 20 to 30 centimetres away from the shoe. And I personally like to spray in short bursts because I'll still get really carried away and I put shit loads on. You just need um, a thin layer to start with. Spray the front as well. So I like to just give the little hooks a little wipe with my finger which makes my finger sticky afterwards, so probably just use like tissue or something. Maybe not tissue, tissue will rip. Use a wet wipe. Okay, um, I'm gonna add just a little bit extra around this toe area because this is the bit that always gets caught. And then I'm just gonna, oops, should have taped a little bit lower. It's fine, it'll come off. Um, I'm just gonna let it dry for um, about, 15 minutes and then what I'll do is do another quick layer on um, and you can do that a couple of times so I normally do about three layers and that keeps the shoe really happy for ages um, it stops it dropping glitter everywhere which I am currently already covered in um, and it helps protect the shoe for longer so once they are both sprayed perfectly I will show you what the shoes look like on hey so the shoes have dried I have laced them back up um, you can't see any more now that they're dry, but uh, when I first did it, um, this little bit on the front looked a little bit uh, misty because I made sure that I put quite a thick layer on um, right on that toe because since you're doing like drags across the floor, this is the first bit that gets it. So I put a thick layer on, but don't panic if when you're putting the layers on, uh, like I said, you lose the shine there because the shine does come back when it dries, but that just gives you a little bit of extra protection. So. I am gonna try them on for the first time and see how shiny they are. There's a tiny, tiny little bit of sun sight left in the corner of the patio. So I will show you in the sun. But first, let's get them on. So, 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 so. shoe unboxing number two complete. I am 
officially obsessed with them. Um, they're so glittery. I absolutely adore them. Um, if you get a pair of these, don't panic if they're a little bit harder to lace up than shoes are normally. Um, obviously, they are a little bit stiff from having layers and layers of glitter on and layers of acrylic spray as well. Um, let me know if you have a pair like this. Um, let me know if you have any requests for shoe advice or anything like that. And I will do what I can to help you. Thank you.